Welcome to the Crypto Sphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Monday, August 29th at 1.30 p.m. here in Northern California. And the big question that we were asking today as we're looking at the charts is where are we? It seems like we're in no man's land. Is there going to be another dump or are we going to break out? Are we going to break down? Are we just going to move sideways? What can we expect from the market? Now, we all know that last week during our, our Friday, Friday afternoon during the Fed chairman's speech, uh, we saw a massive breakdown. This huge bearish engulfing candle happened on Friday. And this is the stock market. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the DJI. And we've seen the breakdown continue uh, as the stock market opened this morning. So this is today's candle. And just kind of looking at today's candle, what we can see is from the close of yesterday's candle to where we are right now, well, to where we are right now, we're down about just a half of a percent. And we went down totally just under 1%. So that's not a huge drop, but still it seems like uh, the bearishness continues. However, when we look at Bitcoin, for example, on the daily chart, what we see is that Bitcoin actually bounced this morning. So the Dow lost another 1%, but Bitcoin is actually up at the current moment about 2.79, about almost 3%. And on the day, the top has been a 4% bounce for Bitcoin. So the question is, is the market going to continue to bounce or is it all going to collapse? I said last week a couple things on my video. I think it was Saturday. This Saturday I did a video. And I pointed out a couple things. First of all, looking at Ethereum right now, I'm most interested in the Ethereum chart. Um, and what I see in this Ethereum chart is a number of things. First of all, on the weekly, we're in a clear downtrend. And this downtrend will continue as long as this RSI is beneath this line. If the RSI breaks above that line, then I'll expect the price to break above this line and I'll expect a breakout. But until then, remember that the trend is your friend. I expect the downtrend to continue. However, what I also said in my video on Saturday is that I expect a bullish bounce toward this line here at 1956. Why do I expect a bullish bounce towards this line here at 1956? Because... What I am seeing, even though we saw this huge bearish move here, if you zoom out a little bit, you see that this is still an uptrend. We made a higher low, right? We made a higher low here in the price, and that's still an uptrend. Now, what will invalidate the thesis that this is an uptrend is making a lower low. So if we break beneath this line here at about 1358, uh, the stop losses on my long positions are at 1350 because if we break beneath 1358, uh, that will invalidate my thesis that we are still in an uptrend. Okay, but as long as we've got support above that line, this is still an uptrend. Okay, however, if you look at the RSI, the RSI is telling us a different story. We have made we are in a clear well at least the lows, clear lower lows in the RSI here. OK, so when the price is making a higher low and the RSI is making a lower low, that is called hidden bullish divergence. Remember, whenever there is a divergence in the lows, it's always bullish. If there's a divergence in the highs, it's always bearish. So what happens if you make a high here and a high here, a higher high, but then if this high had been lower than this previous high, that's called bearish divergence. But the highs are congruent except you had a little bearish divergence here, but that was overwhelmed. You had a slightly higher high in the long run here. But now we've got a massively lower low here, but a slightly higher high. So even if the lows are flat, but you're making a higher high, that's slight hidden bearish div divergence. When you've got a massive lower low and even a slightly higher high, that's strong bullish divergence. So the bullish divergence is strong. Now remember, the difference between classic divergence and bullish divergence is that classic divergence indicates a trend reversal, whereas bullish divergence indicates a trend continuation. Same thing with uh, bearish. Classic bearish divergence indicates a trend reversal, but hidden bearish divergence 
uh, indicates a trend continuation. So if we were in a downtrend and you saw hidden bearish divergence, that indicates that the downtrend will continue. But since we're in an uptrend and we're seeing hidden bullish divergence, that indicates that most likely the bullish trend will continue. And so I'm expecting us to continue to move. We broke above this line of resistance that we held for, for two days. Uh, we might have a back test of this line. That's totally fine. Uh, but I'm expecting us to break somewhere in the neighborhood of this line here at 1956. But then I think that the likelihood is we're going to get rejected here. And actually, I think it's a little lower now. Now, going back to this Ethereum weekly chart, you'll see why. Because 1956 is the top of this line here on the weekly chart. But now that we're in the following week, the high is about 1890, 1880. So what I think is most likely is we will come back and touch this line, but then break down again. I think the, the downtrend may continue for a couple more weeks. Um, we Honestly, I think the idea of us coming down to revisit the, the bottom of this line it might just be wishful thinking on my part. I would love it because then I would buy the crap out of Ethereum if it came down to this line. I mean, I would just I would buy it for all that I have. Simply because I think with Ethereum 2.0, uh, I'm very bullish on the future of Ethereum. You know, this whole fixing the problem with the high gas fees, if that works, if that doesn't work, it could actually be disastrous if there's any problems there. So they got to make sure that the launch of Ethereum 2.0 is flawless without incident. It's got to work. And it's got to work well, and it's got to work immediately. But that being the case, I think we're going to see a breakout uh, at a certain point. But at the very least, I think we could retest the 200-week moving average, which would take us down to about $1,250, somewhere in that range. So I'm thinking we're going to hit $1,850, then break down to $1,250, and then probably break out from there, because that should take us towards the end of August. So we might have two more of these weekly candles at best. Um, before we hit Ethereum 2.0. And I think the bears want to tank it as far as they can before Ethereum 2.0 so that they can buy uh, buy the crap out of it. But if we go back to this uh, Dow Jones and just industrial chart to just kind of get a feel for what's happening in the stock, stock market as well, a uh, blockchain backer likes to say a lot, and I think he's correct, that there is a correlation between the, the crypto market and the stock market. The crypto market tends to follow the stock market. Well, I'm seeing hidden bullish divergence here on this chart. We're making a higher high, I'm sorry, a higher low in the price and a lower low in the RSI. And when you're seeing a higher high in the price and a lower, I'm sorry, a higher low in the price and a lower low in the RSI, that is called hidden bullish divergence. And once again, we're in an uptrend here, and the hidden bullish divergence simply indicates that we can expect this uptrend to continue, which means that uh, we should get a bounce somewhere. And I identified this region where in which I expect the bounce is somewhere between 31.5 and 31.859. So in other words, I think the Dow J can go a little bit lower, maybe touch this line, uh, maybe break beneath this line slightly and come down and touch this line here. Uh, but I don't think it's going to go down too much further before we get a bounce. And then the bullish trend continues at least for a little ways. And so if we go to, I haven't looked at this yet, but uh, I would imagine that the weekly chart looks much like the Ethereum weekly chart. And uh, yep, I am correct that what we see here is a downtrend. Yep. So if we do it like that, there's a clear downtrend. And in actuality, this is an ascending an ascending broadening wedge. I'm sorry, it's a descending broadening wedge, which ultimately is a reversal pattern that results in a bullish break eventually. The only thing about these reversal patterns is that there's just not, it's just not clear when the reversal is actually going to happen. So is the Dow, J, the Dow J going to bounce here, hit the top, and then come back down to test the bottom of this? Or is it going to bounce here, hit the top, come back down, hit this region again, and then break out? Uh, 
I think only time will tell. Uh, we'll see. But this is clearly what I see uh, with the Ethereum chart. It's clearly what I'm expecting with the Ethereum chart. Even looking at the four-hour Ethereum chart, we made a higher low here on the four-hour. And then it's it's just broken out over the last uh, three, four-hour candles. Will it pull back? Sure. Uh, I think it could even pull back and retest this line again uh, if necessary. But I honestly think uh, that, that that's probably not very probable. I think what's more probable is uh, maybe a retest of 1481 and then a bounce from there uh, towards the top of this line. And of course, it won't be lit. Uh, number one, we may not reach the top of the line. Number two, it may not be linear. Um, but needless to say, this is, this is what I think is uh, very possible at this point. So we're going to watch it. Um, yeah, taking a look at the total crypto market cap, what we're seeing is we just came and bounced right at the bottom of this line. So we're honoring this line of support. If we break beneath it, I've got these lines of support. Um, but if we can get above 583 and use that as support, then we're actually going to break out towards the top of this line again. So it does not look dismal. I, I just don't think every, you know, a lot of people say, well, we're in a, we're in a bear market and extended, you know, bear market, you might as well forget about everything until we get to what, 2024? I think that's ridiculous. 2024, 2025, 2026. I think that's absolutely ridiculous that nothing's going to happen. Even if we are in a bear market and it's an extending bear market, first thing that we need to understand is that we've been in a bear market from in terms of the RSI. It goes back to January of 2021. I mean, the price didn't catch up with it. Um, I mean, that's 602 days in terms of the RSI, but even best case scenario in terms of the price, we've been in a bear market for 287 days. So people are talking about, you know, we're in a multi-year bear market. Okay, well, we've already been in that bear market for almost a year. So that's number one. But then number two, if we look at previous bear markets, you don't have to wait four years to see any substantial growth. I mean, even here, where we made an all-time high over here in December 2017. We went all the way down to the bottom here. It's 84%. That took 364 days to get to the absolute bottom. Okay. Now that we're at the bottom, all of a sudden, in 196 days, we do 355%. Right? So there's even the volatility within a bear market. You can see substantial growth. So I think we're we're just in this is a great opportunity uh great opportunity zone here that we're in and I uh, got a lot more to say about it but I'm going to stop it here. Uh thanks so much for listening. Check out uh my Patreon at patreon.com/cryptogenic. A lot of great stuff happening there. I do a weekly Zoom call for my gold members. Uh that's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, a lot of great stuff happening there but Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to buy, what not to buy, when to buy, when to hold, all of that stuff. You make your own decisions. I'm simply showing you some data points that I'm pulling from the charts. Do me a favor and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. I appreciate it so much. But above all, make it your aim to sleep in peace every night, wake in joy every morning, and walk in love every day. This is Cryptogenic, signing out. <music>